Hey there! Today we're gonna take a look at ZBrush Core 2021. See if you should purchase it or not. Really, that's up to you. But if you want to hear my thoughts, stick around. Be sure to like and subscribe. Let's dive right in. Okay, so we're at ZBrushCore.com. And I'm just gonna scroll through some of these features, and then we're gonna talk about it. So if you scroll down, in ZBrush Core 2021, everything in orange is what's new to this version of ZBrush Core. The biggest one for me is Z Remesher. Let's go down and see what that is. In the previous video, linked above, I said that I don't recommend ZBrush Core 2020 because it lacked Z Remesher, as well as some other things. But the big one for me was Z Remesher. Z Remesher is ZBrush's automatic retopology. So you can have this really dense mesh uh, with triangles, all messiness, and then you can retopologize with one click to get a much better surface for sculpting. Now this is not used for quick retopology and animation, but for sculpting, it's, it's incredible. So I'm glad that's included. That's a big deal. If we scroll down to micro poly, we can see what that is. Piece of geometry can be added to each polygon um, as an interactive instance. So I played around with this a little bit. This is new to ZBrush 2021, but it's pretty darn powerful what you can do with it. So that's really exciting that that's in there. Dynamic subdivision. So if, it's hard to tell from this example, but on the left we have the faceted, like you can see all the edges, and then we can turn on dynamic subdivision. So I like to model and hop back and forth between this, so really you're working on this low poly version, but you can view it in the dynamic subdivision mode. Image 3D GIF. This is kind of like, eh. I don't quite understand it. Basically, in ZBrush Core and ZBrush, ZBrush Core Mini, you can save like this image file. This will be an example. You save your model, save it as this GIF, and all the information for that model is stored down here, which means if you were to upload that, somebody could download your GIF and just take it into ZBrush and open your model. I just don't quite see how great that is. It seems like a fad, like why put, um, I'm assuming a lot of energy into creating this whole new file format for this. I could see some pros, but honestly, I think it's kind of stupid. So we're gonna X that out. Uh, import from Sculptress. If you've used Sculptress in the past, or that's what you've been using, which I love Sculptress, it's great. You can now import your Sculptress file straight into ZBrush Core. That's awesome. Sculptress Pro is now available, and honestly, I thought it was available in ZBrush Core prior to this, but I guess not. So if you've never used Sculptress Pro, it automatically kind of updates your resolution for your mesh, where you need it, specific areas. It's a lot of fun to work with. It just lets you sculpt, right? You don't have to worry about things. Cam view, boring, don't need it. Now the silhouette is awesome. I have been using that, I guess, since 2019, but it's super helpful, right? It's this little silhouette that sits up here in the corner. You can increase or decrease the size, and it just it does exactly that. I can see the silhouette. For those of you who don't know, if you were to do that by looking at your model with textures and colors, and it's really hard to do. So it's super nice to be able to have the silhouette so you can see if things are reading well and working. So I love that feature. Folders was a long time coming been around a couple years now super glad that it's uh inside zbrush core now that's a big deal universal camera i don't have much to say about this maybe that excites you zizu is pretty fun it's just a, a collection of z sphere models of these different critters that you can take and use as your base mesh and just sculpt away so pretty neat obviously you could make all these with these spheres, but it's neat regardless. Vector displacement mesh brushes. Let's go and compare ZBrush Core now to ZBrush. So all of this is the same. You get all of this wonderful stuff. This is ZBrush Core and ZBrush on the right. So sculpting, you're limited to 20 million polygons per mesh. It's not really that big a deal, that's a lot. Number of brushes. Honestly, there's only a handful of brushes that I use anyways, so this number 
it's not that big a deal. Live booleans are still not present. Now you can still boolean your mesh. You can go to your subtool palette and boolean that way, but live boolean is not present. I find it very helpful. I like live boolean for hard surface. So that's not in there. Great, great, great. Everything's good here. So we have 2D and 2.5D and painting tools. I never use it, never have, probably never will. It's not a big deal. I think most users don't use this at all. I don't do any texturing in ZBrush, so you can take a look. Maybe that affects if you purchase or not. Rendering, you can use BPR. Um, one thing that is not there that I use quite often is render passes, so it kind of stinks that it's not in ZBrush Core. I get that Pixel Logic can't put everything in ZBrush Core. Other, why would you want to buy ZBrush? So I get it. Importing and exporting, pretty much everything you'd want to do, you can do. I mean, the main files. Um, you can't do FBX. I use a lot of FBX. So you can't do that in ZBrush Core, but OBJ, STL. Great, great, great. Advanced features. Shadowbox is pretty outdated. It's cool and helpful. Uh, Z Modeler. You still do not have Z Modeler. Not a huge deal. A lot of folks will use Blender or Maya to do their hard surface modeling, anyways. But I like Z Modeler. It's intuitive, but you cannot get it in ZBrush Core currently. So let's take a look at the price. If we go to purchase. I really dislike subscription models and some of you will say yeah but I can purchase it for a couple months and use it that's great if it works for you go for it I don't like it I am a buy once cry once kind of person I've had ZBrush since 2011 and I've gotten free upgrades for the past nine years and it doesn't look like it's gonna stop either so I love that model it's really quite rare to see in the 3D industry. That used to be the, the norm, but now it's all subscription based. So I'm glad they do that. If you purchase this and then you want to upgrade later, I think they'll knock like a hundred bucks off your ZBrush price, which is kind of cool. One thing I would note, and if you go to noveg.com, I found ZBrush Core 2021 for 30 bucks off. So it's 150. Now I have never been to this website. It seems decent, legit. Please do your research before you give them your money. This is a, uh, it says it's an authorized reseller. And if you can save 30 bucks, that's awesome. So with all that being said, yes, I do recommend ZBrush Core 2021. Just given all the wonderful features that they have implemented into it, it's above and beyond where it was last year.